there are dress requirements for men also but Muslim men today don't follow them that is the reality most Muslim men today don't follow Islamic dress requirements how do I say that why am I saying that well most men today we know the aura is between the navel and the knee not the navel not the knee but what is between the navel and the knee now men wear pants and I'm not talking about Turkish pants where the crotch is down by your ankles or shalwar of the Pakistanis waist is like this big you put it together huge we're talking about Western pants Western pants where the philosophy of fashion in the West is if you have it flaunt it what does that mean if you look good let everybody know you look good that is the philosophy of Western fashion meaning that the goal in making pants is to expose the aura that is the number one goal so it is cut in certain way and stitched in certain way that your behind is hugged by the pant your thighs are hugged by the pants your aura if you bend over if you come into the masjid late people are in sujood a'udhu billah you can't look ahead of yourself otherwise you'll be looking at men's private parts a'udhu billah and we know one of the conditions for the acceptability of Salah is what? Satrul Aura. But we're coming and praying in these pants. Now, in general, in the Muslim world, if a man, he's a practicing Muslim, if his wife wants to wear a spandex outfit, you know, like those people who are skaters, racing skaters, they have an outfit which is like somebody sprayed on them color, right? Now, if your wife wants to come out wearing that, she's got a hijab on her head and like this, you're going to say, hey, God, stop for a lot. Get in there and put on some clothes. Loose. Covering the aura. But what about you? What about you? We have a double standard. It's okay for men to expose their aura, but not for women. So that goes back to ignorance in the Ummah. 